our announcements, so I would like to turn things over to Lou Rinaldi, our FPP, to start us off this afternoon. Well, thank you very much, Laura, uh, uh, Your Worship, and John, uh, for being here today. And, uh, um, it's, I think it's an important day for the Family Health Team. It's something that uh, I think as we move forward through the whole uh, health uh, reform piece is to bring services closer to, to patients. And based on the complement of allied uh, health professionals that work around the, the family health team, this is a real good fit, I think, that uh, you come through these doors or through the doctor's doors, wherever they may be located, and they'll be able to get uh, the type of service that they need. And uh, with uh, physio, certainly it's something that's been talked about for the last little while. Uh, and I think we, today, not only with this family health team, but with other family health teams across the province, it, uh, it kind of complements uh, the service that they provide. So I'm delighted to say that uh, today we're announcing that uh, family health, health team here in our family is, is receiving uh, just under $97,000 annually, $96,854 uh, annual funding to, to provide that service, plus uh, a one-time $12,600 uh, startup fee. And I'm confident uh, with the work that uh, this family health team does already, that this will only enhance. And uh, thank you to all the staff and uh, and totally involved. Uh, this is something that uh, I should add that's not in the press release, that uh, prior to 2011, uh, when, during my other stint as an MPP, was something that was in the front burner, uh, big time. And, uh, and I congratulate my, the minister and my colleagues at Queen's Park for landing at the right place at the right time with the right, with the right services. So thank you for what you do. Uh, uh, just to, to add to that, I'm really uh, proud of what Family Health is doing. And I say that because of what some of you probably will know, but I will repeat it. The very first Family Health in the province was started in London. Uh, and uh, the story goes a little bit that uh, uh, as mayor of Brighton back then, prior to me being an MVP, we had this building with uh, people that wanted to do something with it. And I remember talking to Minister Smitherman that day, and I go, George, you need to come and see what we have in Brighton. And of course, Port Hope was working on some initiative, which is now the community health center. And it became the first Ontario Family Health Team. And during that stint, I was very happy to work with the docs in the West North Island here about forming a family health, which I think we see today. And from what I hear, it's going to be bigger and better in the world. So, congratulations on what you do. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and all <laughs> Hopefully, you don't have to come through these doors over the holidays. <laughs> Yeah, just say a couple of words. I mean, you've covered off pretty well, but um, I'd like to thank the Ministry of Health and Long Term Care, you know, for uh, providing this uh, physiotherapy funding. But I also want to thank Lou, who has been ever, ever vigilant in, you know, in, in bringing forth uh, support for all the uh, health services in Western Ontario. So, Lou, I know you've made a major commitment over the years, and you continue to do so. It's very much appreciated that uh, all the work you do. Quality of life and the people of the West Coast. Um, I also want to say that you know, I, I really appreciate the family health team. It continues to fill, you know, fulfill their mandate of providing a full range of services for the West Coast. And this, um, the latest venture of physiotherapy, uh, is just another example of all the services they're providing. And uh, it's going to increase and help with the quality of life for all of the uh, people of Coma and the surrounding area. And I think that, uh, you know, I also want to recognize what the work the management team has done because I understand that we're the first family, first of 13 family health teams that have received this kind of funding. So it tells you what kind of management vision there is operating this family health team and the people who are supporting it. So I think it's a uh, kudos to them, kudos to you for all the work he's done and also the Ministry of Health and Long Term Care. So it's, it's going to be great for the people. 
surrounding area here. That's all I have to say. Certainly, on behalf of uh, the members of the family, certainly want to extend to you through uh, you our sincere uh, thanks to the Ministry of Health. I just want to give a little background to the people here today about how this came about. Um, in early 2013, there was a call for a competitive process to um, have this award, and I want to introduce uh, three of our colleagues here. Uh, Bailey Mitchell, who is the occupational therapist with the Northumberland Family Health Team, Tracy West, who is our business manager, and Dr. Dr. Aaron Pepper, who is one of our family physicians within the team. And the three of them came together to work on the proposal that went into the ministry. So there were over 300 uh, teams that applied, 300 organizations that applied for this award, and only 25 of them were successful. So um, we are one of the 13 family health teams that were awarded this um, position. The others went to nurse practitioner-led or community health centers. So, and we were also the only award in the Central East Lynn, which is a very, very large area. It uh, extends from Scarborough up to Algonquin Park over to beautiful Brighton. So we consider ourselves very fortunate. And as I'm sure you're aware, the uh, family health team of uh, this organization serves a much more elderly population than the majority of teams through Ontario. And so physiotherapy is a very important component in helping to support people as they journey through some of the disease processes that may enter into their lives as they get older and help them maintain the independence that we want people to have so they can continue to enjoy an active life and hopefully enjoy still being in their homes. So we were very excited to be able to um, add this person to our uh, roster. We are currently recruiting. Our ad went up onto our website and in the paper last week and we're anticipating interviewing in late January and bringing that individual on in February. And they will work in conjunction with some of our other healthcare uh, practitioners who are already in place on chronic disease management, exercise programming, as well as health promotion. So if you have any questions, we'd be happy to entertain them at this point. But again, we want to reiterate our thanks to the Ministry of uh, Physiotherapy similar to the other healthcare uh, professionals that are operating out of the hub, are here to help round out the uh, physician services that are provided and offer a much more holistic practice than can be sought through stri strictly going to a physician. So we're very, very excited. And we look forward to introducing you to that individual when they arrive. I, I think the fact that healthcare, not that I'm an expert, is changing on a daily basis. These folks will probably have tested on how we deliver, right? And I think any time we could uh, provide uh, the quality uh, of, uh, of uh, health service closer to home, uh, nothing against hospitals. Hospitals are there to deal with chronic issues, right? Uh, and I think uh, whether it's a family health and community health center and those uh, uh, other service provider, I mean, they have a team. And uh, you know, you're able to come in through the door and somebody will look after you. It doesn't have to be necessarily a doctor. So I think this is really part of the whole transformation, is, uh, which I, I don't think will ever get done, finished, but it's, it's, a, it's a moving target because our demogra demographics change, technology changes, uh, and so it's a, it's a real huge addition. And I think one thing, that, uh, the key part of the healthcare team is the patient, and I think um, patients who come to the family health team have the opportunity to spend a little bit more time with the practitioners, learn a little bit more about their conditions, and really get involved in the self-management that they can have in terms of helping um, improve their health outcomes, and learn a little bit more about uh, conditions that they can work on to, um, I guess, forestall further complications. Yes. Uh, with the deficit financing that Ontario is going through, how long term is this funding? It's permanent. It's per this is permanent funding. It's permanent funding. Yeah. I mean, one of the issues we talk about, uh, you know, financial circumstances in the province, uh, I mean, we do have a deficit, but one of the things that, we, you know, the Premier made it very, very clear, healthcare and education are one of those things that we cannot afford to fall back. Is there going to be challenges moving forward? Absolutely. I mean, it's never enough. And I mean that with sincerity because, I mean, we're all living longer, we're all spoiled rotten, uh, and uh, so, so we have to manage. But certainly, you know, when it comes to healthcare and education, uh, 
maybe not have quite enough money as we'd like to have available for that, but it's certainly increased every year. teams do you have in the right the only other one? So, uh, I to be correct, there's one in Trent Hills, okay. which has a, a satellite in Cram in Coburn. There's a Brighton 20 West Family Health Team, which they work their joint at the hip. And then there's this one here. I think that's the only one. And plus the Community Health Center in, in Port Oak, and the Community Health Center in 20 West. Does this Family health team work in conjunction with the community health center. Not really. I mean, there's a few programs that we do. Um, we're we're, sun, we're funded separately and we're considered separate entities. But I think there are programs that we've entered in where we collaborate for the benefit of the patients. Uh, diabetes is one of those programs where there's some services offered here with respect to people's um, instruction. But I believe the actual diabetic education program for the patients of the Northumberland Family Health Team actually occurs through partners that we have at the Community Health Center. And I think going forward, part of the part of the goal of anything um, in the system, whether it be the hospital, um, the family physicians, uh, family health teams, uh, community health centers, we have to work together for the benefit of the patients. What we don't want to see is duplications of services, because not only is that expensive, it's very confusing for the patient. So part of our role as people within the family health team, as well as the physicians, as part of the family health team, is one of, the, uh, one of the terms you hear is systems navigation, is to help people find their way through the system as effectively and as quickly as possible so they get the appropriate treatment at the right time and, as you say, at the right place. So this is a real step forward for physiotherapy to be able to offer those services within the family county. So um, I think uh, for our patients, hopefully when people need physio, they're not as able to travel in the first place. So um, I think this is a, a really lovely compliment into our And I'm thinking of people like me that's getting older by the day. So. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure we have the support services, right? Yeah. Not to be selfish. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Well, thanks very much for hosting us. Thank you very much. Staff and, uh, Thank you. Uh, hopefully, everybody has a safe holiday. Yeah. Yes.